controversial and highly indebted property developer China Evergrande is almost certainly set to default because it has lost the main components of its core business. In a sign of how quickly fortunes can change, the firm, which was China's second largest property developer by sales last year, has lost the capacity to sell new homes, rendering its business model essentially defunct. Like many Chinese developers, the company sold apartments to consumers pre-completion, which generated capital for future projects. But with that cash flow cycle disrupted, Evergrande's massive debt will catch up with it sooner rather than later, even if it's able to sell assets. The firm, which has around $300 billion in liabilities, recently announced that it is selling its entire stake in the streaming services firm, Hang Ten Network Group, for $273.5 million, and that would represent a $1 billion loss from this flash sale. It has been reported that the Chinese authorities have urged Evergrande's chairman to use his personal wealth to contribute to relieving the debt load. So far, the firm has been able to make the minimum threshold payments, but analysts are wondering when, not if, this juggling act comes crashing to an end. $18 billion of Evergrande's debt is international and dollar-denominated, and although the yuan has gained against the dollar in recent months and years, inflationary fears are driving up the dollar index. And if the market loses confidence that the Biden administration can contain inflation, it could go further, placing even more pressure on the Chinese borrower.